Hello there, I'm Kevin Lansick with another one of Dasco's efficient money saving solutions. So what's going on here, Kevin? I have a customer that wants to put about mm, three small lines of text in a 2D barcode on the end of a tube. They want to be able to read that barcode. But this is a QR code and I can print the data but it's so small and so scrunched and stuff that it, it won't read consistently. But I, I don't know why. What happens is it, it gets so crowded and mush that the, the print it kind of blurs things rather than getting real distinct stuff. So I, I don't get consistent scans um, in order to make it fit on the end of this vial. Now, we tried a QR code wrapping it around but that code because it's bent it doesn't read we just can't get a consistent read on that either um, this is looking more and more like we might want to go to a linear barcode but a linear barcode is not going to get anywhere near the amount of data that a 2D can get mm Hmm. I see alright well Look forward to seeing what you come up with, because I'm sure you will find a solution here. Yeah, the solution is a less data or, or a bigger barcode. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it, Kevin. You would find a solution. How did you do it? Well, I looked at this a little closer, and this barcode, 2D barcode, is kind of really, really dark. And I looked at it under a loop, stuck a loop over it. And I don't know if, you can, if that's going to show, and probably it's not... Well, yeah, I think it will. Um, it just gets quite blurry because I had the temperature turned up just a little bit. The temperature turned up what? On the printer. Oh, on the printer, okay. So what I did was I did the same thing, same exact thing, but just turned the temperature way down on the printer. It still prints just fine. So you're talking thermal transfer printer? Yes, thermal transfer printer huh. with a resin ribbon, so I'm still getting good resolution. And now it scans. Just because the, the pixels or the squares inside that barcode are not mushed at the corners, they're, more, they're sharper. So we're talking the same data. Same data, same printer, same everything, we just turned the temperature down. A lot of data, still 2D, and we ought to read it. You're a genius. Oh no, we just got lucky. We have a QR code, about 32 characters stuck in that 2D symbology. It's, it's, a, it's like sensitive to within like an eighth of an inch difference with this code scanner. But it, there it is scanning right now. Mm -hmm. And that's with 32 characters, QR, 2D, printed on a 300 DPI printer, printed on a low temperature to low speed. Um, can be done, but the distance to read can have to be controlled with a just be a stand that you can either mount the scanner in or have something sticking out of the scanner so it can only go so far close away. There. Once it's found, if you if a person would measure that exact height and eliminate all variables out of there, you could have you could get some consistent scans. Mm-hmm. Great. Wonderful. Thank you, Kevin. That's a tough one. But that's, you did it. That's pushing the limits of uh, what, a, what a barcode can do. It really, really is. Lots of data, tiny, tiny area. But imagine how much that's going to improve accuracy. Yeah. Reduce human error. Good job. We got her. Give Dasco Label a call toll free at 1-877-85-LABEL. We'll help you find label solutions for your application.